um, I thought that the only two alternatives of being Jews in contemporary world was either to be a Zionist or to be an Orthodox Jew. Then in 1969, when I left Israel, I found out about the extreme, wonderful, variety ways of being Jewish, both secular and religion. So much so that my PhD dissertation was about new Jewish movements in the early 70s in the United States. Among the groups that I studied were also those who called themselves New Bundist. And this is how I came first to hear about this fascinating movement and also to study it in not just in the United States in the early 70s, but also in uh, Eastern European, East Europe of the early uh, 20th century. I think Mike uh, Cushman uh, said he was going to circulate an article that I've written about uh, these uh, issues in the late uh, 80s. Now, I'm not going to introduce to you Vach uh, the Boon because uh, the speakers, especially David Rosenberg, who is going to be the first speaker, are going to do that. But I would like to share with you that while studying uh, the issue of the Bund in these two historical contexts, I've come to, co uh, to see myself as a neo Bundist, but paradoxically, I decided that the Bundist solution or approach to so called solving the Jewish problem is suitable for the context of Israel Palestine rather than to the context of contemporary diasporic situations. And I think that probably this is one of the issues that both the speakers and you, the participants, will be able to uh, discuss that. Another issue which uh, I was very aware when I studied and compared the two historical contexts uh, in the early 70s and at the, uh, and at the beginning of the 20th century has been the difference in the intersectional class and other positions of Jews within uh, the two historical contexts. And the question is whether the same political solution can be applicable to those who still call themselves the Jewish community, but to what extent the same solution can be afforded to two such different historical contexts. The last point that I think we would like to think about is the difference between the boundaries of the Jewish nation or the Jewish people that the Zionist movement and the Bundist movement have uh, established or constructed. While the Zionist movement have seen the boundaries of the Jewish nation for all the Jews from all over the world, the Bund have applied it only to the Jews in Eastern Europe, because they were interested not in futuristic utopian solution, but in relating to the here and now, therefore they were trying to look for revolutionary socialist solution with, within a Eastern European Socialist Federation and associated themselves with the Mensheviks. And this is another kind of question is, to what extent and whether we see the boundaries of a Jewish community, national, regional, global, and what is the role that Israel or the UK or the US play with, within this. I'm not going to, uh, of course, there are so many other questions and I'm sure you're all going to raise it. We are going to have three presentations, and as I said afterwards, 15 minutes in breakaway rooms in which each group will have to formulate, hopefully one, but if they can't agree, then two 
issues or questions they would like to bring back to the general discussion. The first pres presenter is going to be David Rosenberg, and after him are going to be Glyn Secker and Richard Cooper. Three JVL members. David has been also very active and known as uh, the major activist of the Jewish Socialist Group. And uh, also, I must say, he is the best guide for walks in radical London, which I would recommend everybody who has not done yet to join one of his walks or at least his virtual walks. Glyn has been active not only as the founder members, like he, both he and Richard Cooper have been founder members, both of Jews for Justice uh, for Palestinians, as well as the Jewish Voice for Labor, but also has been very active in uh, higher education and in the trade union. And Richard being active in almost every organization that I've ever been involved or uh, know about, as also, of course, have this distinguished record of being a radical publisher yeah. and now editing the website of JVL.